911, what's the emergency? Um, I see smoke coming out of my house. I think my house is on fire. Okay, ma'am, what is your address? Um, 2121, the Heaven's Court. Okay, is there anyone inside the house at this time? I don't know. My husband could be there, but I'm not sure. And tell me about your house. Is it a single story, two story? What's it made of? Two story, uh, brick. All right, so what is your phone number? Um, Ma'am, calm down. Take a deep breath. You got this. 850-5534. Oh my goodness. Many years ago, the Sheriff of Leon County saw the need to consolidate and improve the efficiency of dispatch functions in this community. The city and county embraced that concept and expanded on it to provide for multiple other life safety functions being incorporated into the development of this facility and centralizing them such that they could work together much more efficiently and much better. The facility supports a significant group of first responders associated with the entire community. The Consolidated Dispatch Agency, the Tallahassee Advanced Transportation Management System, the Emergency Operations Function, and the Tallahassee Fire Department administrative offices in conjunction with the emergency medical services. Now all of those functions are dispatched from a single consolidated location. It is a significant benefit to the community simply in the fact that we're getting those emergency services to people faster. Snyder was a successful vendor on a variety of systems in the building. One of the key ones of course is electrical supply to the facility. That is probably the most critical component associated with the mission critical function of this building. Backing all of that up is two UPS systems that was provided by Snyder Electric and all of the critical power systems in the building are supplied through those two UPS systems. By the same token, we use Snyder Electric in the data center. There's approximately 20 APC in-row cooling units within that data center that supply continuous cooling it's necessary to sustain that, maintain it, keep it operating at 100% to ensure that the people in the community are protected. If we lose power, there's a chance someone may die, and that's simply not acceptable. The facility saves lives, and that is probably the most critical aspect of what it provides. If we can get emergency services to an individual 10 seconds faster than we could before, and that 10 seconds is a matter of life and death, then the value of this facility or what we put into this facility is worth it. It's really that simple. All right, ma'am, we've got help in route to you. Just a moment. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am, thank you.